So, uh, here today to talk about how to play the song Be More Kind. Uh, and it's kind of the solo verse we're working on today. Um, the verse that's on the album, you can actually kind of hear how my thinking about the arrangement of the album progressed because it starts off as very much a folk song and by the end we've got Berlin techno and orchestras going on and all bells and whistles and the sleeping cells kicking in. Um, but today we're going to focus on uh, how you play it uh, um, as a solo piece, how it was written, essentially. Um, so, we've got a cap on, fourth fret uh, and we're in C shape so I'm going to call them in C shapes um, but yes don't forget about the cap on the fourth fret that puts you in the key of E um, and uh, the original the opening figure is a very sort of trad uh, folk guitar thing and it's just a counterpoint between your thumb and your fingers and ideally if you can separate the actions of your thumb and your fingers in life and make them completely independent then you could play guitar like Richard Thompson who's one of the greatest guitar players in the world um, I'm getting there but this, this one's kind of like not a bad exercise to get there. It's a type of figure, um, John K. Sampson uses this quite a lot. I did actually send him an email apologising for stealing his guitar figure and he said it was fine. Um, so basically your thumb is playing the, on the beat and it's playing the roots. And then uh, your first finger and your middle finger are actually on the G string, the B string. They're playing the top half of the C chord. So you've got... And now in a normal C shape you've got that. You've got your middle finger on the E there as well. But you're not actually playing it. So on the beat on the bass and off the beat on the dyad with the first and the fifth. So and that's the general pattern and pretty much for the whole song apart from right at the end, which we'll get to, uh, these two fingers stay on the G and the B string and then it's just the bass line that moves around it in the positions. So the first chord is a C, the second chord is a weird chord, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fourth fret on your lower string. Um, and then it's a, it's a fourth fret on your lower string, it's an E on your D string, so a second fret on your D string, and then it's an open G and B, which is a clash. You've got a, you've got a G sharp and a G in there, and I don't really know what you'd call that chord other than the one that comes next. So you start with C, you go to there, and then you go to an A minor, and then, uh, it, well, it's kind, of, it's kind of a C with a G in the bass, but if you go from the A minor, you just swing that finger out to there, then you're into a, a D7 with an F sharp in the bass, which is uh, sounds more fancy than it is. You're basically just moving there, and then to a G, and that's your verse. So, and then back up to the G. So you've got all the way through your thumbs keeping time. And your two fingers are on the off beats, and that's your verse. So, history's been leaning on me lately, and so on. Um, and then the chorus keeps the same sort of pattern and just throws in it's an A minor to an to an F with a. I think that's. I'm right in saying that's an F uh, sus two possibly, or yeah, F nine maybe. It's an F with a G in it. Why not? Uh, and then a C, and then a G. And A minor is that funny F chord again, and then to a C, so it goes with the same pattern with your finger and coming in a world that has decided that it's going to lose its mind. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. Like that, and that's your verse and your chorus. Uh, and it does uh, it does that. The second verse, when I play it solo, um, I make it more interesting by moving the thumb. Uh, around so instead of going like this with four notes on each measure on the thumb I'm actually going so the thumb's going so uh, but your top two fingers are still doing the same thing So it makes it, it's essentially the same pattern, just moving your thumb around a little more, and your, your uh, left hand chord shape is doing the same thing. And in the second chorus, you can do the same thing. And before you go out searching, don't decide what you will find. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. So it works like that. So then you get into middle eight, which is very simple. It's just that F, uh, F chord again, and then to an E minor seven and then to an A minor, and then to a D7, again, the same chord that we had in the verse. So, uh, you should know, you're not alone. Keeping that thumb 
doing the alternating thing and your top two fingers are still in the same place. Trouble comes. And on like, like that. Then you get to this sort of instrumental break. On the record, you know, that's where the strings sweep in. Thank you, Matt Nazir, for that wonderful arrangement. Um, but uh, what I do on this, and this is where this gets, this is about the hardest bit of guitar playing that I know how to do, which is your thumb is doing the alternating thing, but you start alternating with your top two fingers as well. So you, instead of just going, you go. So you're, you're actually, your left hand's not really doing anything more fancy, but you've essentially got your thumb and your two fingers are alternating at the same time, so you go. play the G as a 6 with the top string ring as well, so you go. Thankfully you don't have to sing while you play this. And then you're back into a verse, which is what you sort of simplify again, back to the first verse, and then the last chorus takes that technique of all-out war with this hand and brings it to the chorus code. So you go, when you're out the floundering like a lighthouse, I will shine. He said, fuck it up. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. Like a beacon reaching out to you and yours for me and mine. Be more kind, my friends. Try to be more kind. And then the last one, you simplify the end. In a world that has decided that it's going to lose its mind Be more kind, my friends Try to be 